Let me hit you! Nope. Please, horse, just let me hit you! Nope. Ah, oh, this is driving me mad! Get, get it? Do you, do you get it? I'm sorry, that was awful. Hello, fellow Tarnish, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to at least put a little bit of horse-based levity <laughs> at the start here, because what you're about to see is absolutely ridiculous, disgusting, and brokenly powerful, to the point where, yeah, basically, this is, again, absolutely stomping all over PvP. Except this time around, it's not a bug, really, it's just intended to work like this. So, may I present to you what I would say is quite literally the best PvP build in the game, and it's okay in PvE, but this really is PvP, as of course it's madness related, that doesn't rely on an exploit or bug, or something literally broken like carrion retaliation. So first and foremost, we're going to be working with, you know, the eye burst line of death, which in a vacuum is an incredibly cool incantation. It's really awesome to laser snipe someone with eye beams from miles away and it really does have that kind of range we'll get to that later but it kind of got a little bit overtuned a little bit too overpowered thanks to the recent patch that fixed arcane scaling but first and foremost let's actually get the eye laser it's from Leonia of the lakes and it's not the most uh, troublesome item to get a hold of it's near the frenzy village the uh, frenzy church the frenzy eye of sauron tower south of the great lift in uh, the uh, lake region Region. You head on down there and you will eventually find yourself a, a teardrop scarab that will give you the incantation that we desire. Frenzied Flame. And just a little shout out to the actual artwork for the icon. Every single icon in this game is just ridiculously beautiful. Like, it's really quite impressive. So, let's begin then with what will be a very eye-opening experience. <laughs> This works on a enemy tarnished, thusly, you get hit for a bolt of damage and your madness meter will build, the status will increase. When the madness reaches full, you get essentially just stunned for a while as you cannot contain the horror that you have witnessed as you claw at your head. It's quite gnarly honestly and keeps you out of action for ages which lets the enemy follow up with a free hit. Which again in a vacuum is a really neat status and a really cool concept. However, instead of just like the halfway point that it normally does, if you cast Frenzied Burst with an arcane scaling seal, i.e. the only one in the game, the Dragon Communion Seal, and combine it with a high arcane stats, I've gone full 80 for testing here, but you could leave it around 50, well then, each Frenzied Burst will not build the status, it will just trigger it. 0 to 100 instantly. Which then, yep, you guessed it, means you can then fire it again before the Madness Stun is finished and begin the Madness Stun again. Ad infinitum as long as you have FP until the enemy player is dead. Essentially then, you have to hit them once and then you win because from that point onwards they can't stop you from just hitting you over and over and over. As you can see, that's a little bit ridiculous, though nothing here is technically broken or bugged. This is working as intended, but I definitely think we can all agree that one of two things should happen. Arcane shouldn't scale it this hard, it should be impossible to just instantly madness with a single attack, or, while afflicted with the Madness Stun, you can't get re-afflicted with the Madness Stun. I'm in favour of that second one as it stops it being oppressive while maintaining this niche build of instant madness if you can land the hit. So, combo it with Azur's Staff and Radagon Icon and you are now casting this incantation incredibly quickly and it's already a very quick incantation, both to go off and to travel through the air. You can also charge it for more damage or to disrupt the timing if someone is getting used to your rhythm of, well, constantly firing this at them. And you might be there going, wait a minute, let's just staff speeds up the casting of sorceries, what? Yeah, but having it in your other hand also speeds up the casting of incantations. Basically, it has a hidden amount of dex to your character that only applies to casting speed, and that hidden dex buff applies to incantations just as it did to sorceries. Whether that's actually intended, I don't know, but it is how it is, so yeah, Radigans and Azurs just makes this slightly better. Not that it needs to be better, really. Let's talk the range on this sniper shot. <laughs> 
It is massive. I am free aiming here and look how far away I am hitting my helpful cotton test dummy. It's crazy. It is a longer range than the farthest you can actually target and lock onto someone. And at that range, well, they are quite hittable. Now, you might be thinking then, having seen all of this and how ridiculous it is to be able to just chain stun someone as you blast them for a thousand damage repeatedly until they die and there's nothing you can do about it. Well, you can just roll, right? You can roll and dodge the blast and then you're okay. Keep doing that till you get close to them and then hit them. And yes, that is definitely possible. I'm not saying you become an unkillable, undefeatable god, though you do get close to that. And I definitely have lost a few matches playing just unga bunga spam this and do nothing else. But obviously, if I started doing extra on top of this, it would make it even more ridiculous. But I wanted to, you know, purely test the theory, prove the point. But in any case, yeah, you can roll it, except when you can't. This is the part that is actually broken. If you actually uh, touch the beam during uh, the iframes at the end of a roll or at the start of a roll, the middle you're okay, but at the start of the end you still get the status build up, and as it's a one and done build up thanks to the arcane, that means you can get madness stunned from a dodged attack. Meaning you don't take damage, but you are stunned, which means you are now primed for the follow-up beams that will damage you and will infinitely lock you and will kill you. This isn't unique to madness. Every status in the game applies and builds up on attacks that don't actually do damage, but do come close enough to hitting the target. Which is why I'm saying that this build in itself isn't actually, you know, literally broken. It's status application as a whole that's broken, which this build happens to indulge in, but it's not directly because of this build. So of course, as this aspect here is, technically speaking, broken, obviously I have to put the disclaimer that yeah, please don't use this against people. Obviously, you know, I've had to do a few random invasions just to get footage to show you how ridiculous this is, and I feel absolutely terrible every time. I can certainly assure you I am not touching this past what was required to bring you this information. I have to make these videos both A, to spread awareness of it so it does get fixed, the more people that know about it, the more people that understand it, the more people that sadly will use it, and the quicker FromSoft will make it not a thing, but B, so you understand what's happening if this does happen to you and why you can't move and why it's just an instant stun and why it feels ridiculous. If it wasn't for the fact that the bar builds and triggers while you're rolling and not taking damage, then yeah, I would be like, go for it, this is incredible people. PvP build, and it is an incredible PvP build, but that aspect is a little bit, ah, it's not insanely broken, because again, you can definitely beat people doing this if you know what you're up against, which is another reason why spreading awareness in this video is important to me, because then we can actually get counters and start reducing frenzy build up, and with the right items and incantations and safeguards, you can make it so it's not a one and done instant frenzy, so that's worth considering, but yeah. There you go, everybody. You've been seeing in the background how it's not the best in PvE. It just is a long-range big damage burst, but that's uh, definitely not breaking any bosses. But against Tarnished, it's just absolutely ludicrous. And undeniably fun to shoot death lasers out your eyes. I just wish it wasn't quite as severe. Let me know what you guys think of this one there. Now, like if you have enjoyed this. Subscribe and hit the bell for more builds, tips, tricks, warnings, and general good Elden Ring stuff, consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, a good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice, to reiterate that it is nice, to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage, is, uh, goodbye.